All right, so I got a lock on my back door. Um, and so I was showing you that real quick. It's right here. Um, pretty simple um, design, but I needed something that I could lock the outdoor that I wasn't afraid of someone being able to just use a bolt cutter on and cut the lock off. But I didn't really videotape the process. Oh yeah, it's locked. I can't uh, open it. I got a lot of keys. I gotta figure out which one it is. It's this one. But hopefully, yeah, there it is. that was it. Um, but it's pretty simple. It's just uh, this right here. And so I got this lock here. Um, bolt on the outside. I had to, you know, put a piece of wood on it on the back of it so this piece here that comes down um, they actually fit together um, this piece of wood's temporary I'm probably gonna take this back out um, put something better looking there like maybe a solid piece of metal or something um, but the wood just temporary just because I want to be able to start locking this door um, this flange here um, I'm gonna cut this off as well um, and I'll get new bolts this is all just you know get it quickly set up but basically how it works is you know, this, this bar comes down, um, put the connector on it, comes down right into it right here, it unlocks. And this is the outside piece, just drill the hole right through um, and connected it. Again, very simple design, but works really well. Be a lot harder for someone to, you know, break in with, with this lock here. Um, and so, you know, now this back door is locked. Um, my front door is locked. And now I just need to figure out a way to lock my side door. Um, but that one's gonna be a trickier one. And that's gonna be a much trickier one just because on the inside of this door, there's no um, bar that comes down. Um, like that wet red bar on the other one. So I can't do the same thing. There's not really a way to lock it from the inside. So I'm thinking on this one, I'm gonna have to do like something that spans over this gasket here. I mean, you're probably down here, so it's easier to reach, but, um, and then just a bolt and try and find, I'm sorry, then just a lock, but try and find um, a lock that is, you know, anti-bolt cutters or something like that. Um, but, yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna have to do on this one. Um, just cause there's not really a way to lock it on the inside that will be accessible. Um, cause I need to, if I'm gonna lock it from the inside, I need, I need to also be able to unlock it from the outside, especially that door. Um, because that door is going to just be a closet and it's not gonna be accessible from the inside of the bus. It's gonna be like all my electrical stuff and basically my garage. Um, so I won't even be able to get to it from the inside. Um, so. That's why it needs to be able to be unlocked from the outside. Um, but yeah, then, you know, my door here, it's got the RV lock that I added in. Um, but yeah, that's it for the locks. Um, this weekend, I'm going to try and kind of get my bus ready for spray foam. So there's a good amount I need to do um, for that. But um, hopefully I'll be able to get it all done. Right now, I'm just waiting on some wire. Um, disconnects to come in um, but and some gaskets but um, there's some other stuff I can start working on so I'm gonna start doing that now